All right, welcome back, guys, to my review of WWE Friday Night SmackDown for August 3rd, 2012. And I enjoyed the show. I thought I had some really good stuff on here. Um, but before I get into that, I do want to mention the Horror Room movie reviews that I try to do every single Wednesday. Um, I didn't get one up yet this Wednesday. And the reason was, as you can see, I still have Friday the 13th back there. And I've done all those movies. And I have the poster for the next series coming. I ordered it online, and I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. It should be here any time. I used uh, fast shipping and all of that stuff. So as soon as I get the poster, I'll do the movie review. Um, I won't miss a week. So if it comes, even if it comes next Wednesday, I'll still do two movies that Wednesday. That way I don't miss one. But yeah, that's the reason that I haven't had the new movie up yet. Uh, just waiting on the poster. But on to SmackDown. Vince McMahon comes out and he says the new GM is Booker T. <laughs> now, this is bittersweet for me personally. Um, it's great for Booker. And I think he's going to do a great job. He did a great job tonight. But this just means we're not going to hear him on commentary. And that really sucks. I loved hearing Booker on commentary. It was one of my favorite parts of SmackDown. And without that, it is it is kind of bittersweet. But I think he's going to do great as the GM. Um, so Booker's talking about what he wants to do, and Del Rio comes out. He tries to suck up to Booker. He starts talking crap about Sheamus. Uh, Sheamus comes out. And Sheamus asks if Del Rio is really not going to compete until SummerSlam. And Sheamus says yes. And Booker says, oh, no, you not, or something like that. And I laughed my ass off at this because there is a guy in the crowd who, it's, he's kind of blurry, but you can totally make out what he's doing. And he's right behind Booker. You have to go back and watch this if you missed it. But as soon as Booker says that, he does this. <laughs> and I was laughing my ass off at this. It was so good. Once again, if you missed it, go back and just watch that opening segment because it's definitely worth it. So, uh, Del Rio says he doesn't care who Booker is and he's not competing until SummerSlam. And Booker says, he's the boss. I'm the boss. And Del Rio will compete tonight against Randy Orton. We knew that wouldn't last. As soon as Del Rio said that, I knew that wouldn't last. Uh, so he's wrestling Orton tonight. And Booker tells Sheamus his match starts right now against Lord Tensai. So we get Tensai versus Sheamus. And sometimes on SmackDown they do this thing where they have like little mini promos as the guys walking to the ring. And they did one for Lord Tensai. It was really bizarre. It's just a bunch of Japanese Sheamus bro kick and Japanese. That's really all it was. Um, but this was a great match. I really like this. And it was very stiff. Uh, Tensai's stomach starts bleeding. There's welts on both guys. Uh, Sheamus wins with a brogue kick, but Tensai looks strong as hell, I thought. Um, he didn't attack Sakamoto after, after the match or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure maybe it was a month ago, sometime around there, that Tensai wrestled Sheamus on Raw, and I remember I really liked that match also. So this was good. I thought this was a great way to start the show. Uh, backstage, Eve congratulates Booker. She asks him for a job. Uh, he says he'll keep in touch or something. And then Teddy Long shows up and Booker gives him a job. So Eve is all pissed off. Um, then we get Antonio Cesaro with Oksana versus Santino. Um, Antonio starts the show, by, or starts the segment by saying hello in five different languages. Um, they have the match. And Santino actually hits the Cobra. And when I saw that, I was like, God, no. But then I noticed Antonio was trying to like position himself towards the ropes. And he actually does get a leg under the ropes, so it doesn't count. And then he hits the pancake pile driver for the win. And that was good. Uh, the announcers were, either, were even saying that they think that Antonio is probably going to become the next U.S. champion if he gets another match with Santino because he's beat him twice now. And that's exactly what I think is going to happen. I think Antonio is going to get another match for the title and win. And I think it's going to be great for him because 
when Sheamus was the U.S. champion, he had the whole European gimmick where he is, uh, you know, he's European, yet he has the U.S. title, and Antonio can do the exact same thing. I think it's going to work out great for him. Um, he's really talented. I've liked him since Ring of Honor, so I'm very happy that this is what's happening here and that he's not jobbing to Santino. So hopefully the next match Antonio wins and we get a new U.S. champion. Uh, Stryker shows Daniel Bryan some clips from Raw. Uh, Bryan says he's going to say no a lot more often. His shirt actually says no on it. And he says that only he gets to say yes. Then we get Jericho, Christian, Kane versus Miz, Dolph, and Daniel Bryan. Ziggler has these pink sunglasses tucked into his tights. Um, Bryan comes out chanting no. The heels were great here. All three of these guys, their mannerisms, everything about them. I thought the heels, these three were awesome tonight. Uh, Jericho gets Brian in the walls of Jericho, but Vicky distracts the ref. Dolph runs in with the case, gets a code breaker, and Daniel Bryan rolls up Jericho for the win. I thought this was pretty good, too. Backstage, Orton says that he's glad to be back and will hit the RKO on Del Rio. That's it. Uh, Jinder Mahal versus Ryback. Ryback's eye is messed up again. It's red. I don't know what causes this. I don't know why it keeps happening to him, but uh, yeah, his eye is messed up again. And Ryback actually gets a mini promo like Lord Tensai did when he comes down to the ring. Um, something about Law of the Jungle. All he sees around him is food and feed me more. Uh, this was more of a squash this week. He's destroying Gender. Gender goes to the outside, hits Ryback in the head with the mic, um, gets disqualified, and then just takes off running. He just runs right up the ramp, and that was it. So I guess this feud continues. Backstage, the primetime players are mad that they don't have shirts at the merch table. We get R Truth with Kofi versus Darren Young with Titus and AW. Um, Titus hits a big boot on Kofi, and Darren wins after a gut buster. These guys are definitely going to be the new tag team champions soon. I think it's... Well, I wouldn't say it's overdue. I mean, it's just right now is the time. They need to put the belts on these guys. So backstage, Booker is talking to Layla, and Cody Rhodes comes up. Says it's good Booker can still find a purpose. Um, Booker calls him a sucker and puts him in a match against Sin Cara next week. And then we get the main event, Randy Orton versus Del Rio. I didn't care much for this. Uh, Ricardo runs in and gets tossed out of the ring. The ref rings the bell. Del Rio attacks the arm of Orton, and Orton drop kicks him to the outside. Sheamus comes down, throws Del Rio back in. He gets hit with an RKO. That was it, really. Uh, I mean, no one's really looking forward to Sheamus versus Del Rio anyway. But, you know, for SummerSlam, a big show, unless they decide to make it a three-way or something like that, not the best way to treat Del Rio going into this match, especially since he's already lost twice now. So they really should be booking him stronger if they want anyone to have a chance of believing that Del Rio has a chance here against Sheamus. But, yeah, overall, I thought SmackDown was pretty good tonight. Had some good matches, and... Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought uh, I thought they did good stuff with the primetime players. Booking those guys. Cesaro beating Santino was good. And the tag matches were good. So not a lot to complain about here. I'm not a big Randy Orton fan. And the finish to that match didn't really do anything for me. So overall, I did enjoy the show, though. So that's it, guys. That's my review of this week's SmackDown. Leave your thoughts on this week's show in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Bye.